Hello, I'm Fruxius, developer of Nias VR, and in this short video I want to show you how you can quickly upgrade your avatar with Visum support. So over here I have a normal version of my avatar, and you can see this is currently using the jaw, um, essentially jaw flap. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna remove this because I won't need it anymore and it's gonna use the blend shapes. So I will simply open it up. This might be dependent on uh, based on like how how your model is set up, but uh, for mine, the jaw setup is here, so I can just remove this and click here, and now we can see essentially the mouth isn't moving anymore. So the next thing I, uh, I need to do is I need to import my new version of the model. So this this uh, Fruxius jacket FBX uh, has been actually updated by Pam over here with the uh, awesome Visemes. So let's just import it. And another thing I need to do, so the, you can see this is like looking very different because this doesn't have any of the setup, but I can simply transfer the new data from from this mesh, which does have device themes and blend shapes, uh, onto this one while keeping everything else. So in order to do that, uh, I can do essential tools, misc, and I will take the rig transfer tooltip. I will point and press the secondary. This will essentially load the, the information about this rig. And then I simply click on this one, zip, and this transfers the data. And now if I enter this uh, enter this character, you can see it is working by seams. And I can go, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, hello. Is it working? Well, <gasps> it's working. So it seems uh, the setup should be pretty simple. And if you are importing a uh, completely new avatar, then simply using the avatar creator will perform the same setup. If it can detect a uh, common Visim setup, it will automatically set up for your avatar. So should be, in most cases, it should be pretty simple. Just a little bit of a note. If you want to play with the Visim setup and do various things, one thing you can do, come on, let's, let's select my head. One thing to be aware of is uh, if I go to the head proxy, I'm just going to quickly describe a few of the components. So essentially over here you have the Visim analyzer and this is automatically linked to my to the source of my audio data. And essentially this is performing the analysis of what I'm, uh, what I'm of my voice and uh, outputting these different Visims. And then on the on the mesh itself, so if I open up the uh, let's have a look. Root node, centered root, Fruxius, where the mesh is. You can see these are uh, the blend shapes on the skin mesh renderer. You can actually see these are automatically driven because uh, due to automatic setup, but there's a bunch of others which you can control using logics. So for example, here I have like a shock one. So I'm gonna use this one. <gasps> and now I'm shocked. Or I can do set all. So right now there's no system for like uh, facial expressions uh, provided, but you can you can experiment with these and essentially uh, create your own using logic, so the visual scripting. For this one, actually, I'm gonna show you very quickly how we can also get quick access to these. So let's say I want to drive one of these properties. So what I can do. With the logic tooltip, it also has a new mode where you can go extract uh, interface, and I'm gonna extract a drive node. Because these are dynamic, uh, I cannot actually extract the interface because if I do that, it's um, these parameters are not gonna be included, but I can extract them directly. So let's say I actually want to, I want to control the shock. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hover over it. There we go. And now I have the drive node, I have the extract uh, to set of drive node. So I can just press secondary and this will create a new drive node. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab like a time and I'm gonna use the sign node. So let's use sign. Well, I need the remap as well. Mod sign. Let's put this here. Let's remap it from, uh, from minus one to one to zero to one. And let's plug this instead. And now essentially this should be this should be interpolating over time. Let's make it a little bit faster so we can see it easier. Yep. That is interesting. 
But I hope like this demonstrates like the point essentially that you can you can drive these using logics, which allows you to like create any essentially arbitrary setup for controlling your character and the blend shapes. And I'm gonna unplug this. So another thing on this avatar is uh, it actually has uh, visines for or visines blend shapes for blinking. So I can you can you can see I can close my eye. So I would essentially like to since I already have the eye set up. I can utilize that because now it also features blinking simulation. In the case you are using eye tracking solution like the Vive Pro Eye, it will actually use the information about the openness for your eye to drive the eye. So in order to set, uh, set this up, uh, I first need to find where my eye setup is in the avatar. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open up my head again. Hello. Yep. You crack that peanut open. And over here, there's eye center. And you see there's the eye manager. And over here you can see there's the eye manager. And eye manager, it already features a blinking simulation. So essentially I, all I need to do is utilize it. You can find certain parameters like a minimum blink interval, maximum blink interval, blink minimal speed, blink maximum speed, and blink speed spread. So you can like tweak these parameters after you set it up like uh, to adjust it to your liking. But I'm just gonna leave it at defaults. And I will attach a new component that will be able to like utilize this simulation. So I'm gonna go to users, come avatar system, face, and there's the I linear driver. And essentially for this one, I will simply add two eyes. So I have both the left and the right one. So one of them is gonna be left, one of them is gonna be the right one. And essentially for each one, I just need to assign a field that represents the eye. So I'm gonna grab the blink left, and I'm gonna drop it here. I'm gonna... My hand is very shaky today for some reason. There we go. And essentially, this, uh, this, this should be pretty much all that is necessary for the blinking. So let's wait a little bit and see if I blink. No blinking. Oh, there, actually, there's one thing I forgot. I need to assign the eye manager so it knows where to get the simulation or even the eye tracking data from. So I'm gonna go up first and I'm gonna grab the eye manager right, obviously the eye manager. and let's drop it here and there we go now I should be blinking yes there we go so this is how we can set up the eye um, Eye blinking. Essentially, you use the same system. You can all, even if your avatar, like in, for example, in case of Palm, it doesn't uh, have uh, the eye movement, but it still uses the same component for eye blinking. So, uh, so you can essentially look up the. You can either look up the tutorial on how to set up this component first, or you can use Business Lawyer's uh, eye setup and just find this component. Much easier that way. Yes, much easier, and set up much this data. So. I think I should, I should cover the basics of the blend shapes. Uh, I hope this uh, video has been helpful to you. So thank you very much and see you <gasps> see you next time. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. <laughs>